It is impossible to miss the frustration in Gregory Lick's voice. The scandal has put on display a culture that insulates its bad actors and demands silence of its victims. It's not often a public watchdog takes such clear and public aim at a sitting government, leveling explosive allegations of political interference. When leaders turn a blind eye to our recommendations and concerns in order to advance political interests and their own self-preservation or career advancement, it is the members of the defense community that suffer these consequences. Canada's military ombudsman says he cannot do his job unless the office has teeth and independence from political agendas of the day, an ability to speak directly to Parliament about abuses of power, corruption and sexual misconduct, to carry out actual investigations and to hold the military and government accountable when they fail to act. He's asking for his office to report directly to Parliament and, and I think that's appropriate for, for a, you know, a free democracy. Victims of military sexual misconduct, like Colton Skibinski, welcome the Ombudsman's recommendations and appreciate his candor. We've had one Ombudsman, Gary Walborn, thrown under the bus for doing the right thing. And now we have another one who says, I'm not going to get thrown under the bus. Um, I'm going to say it like it is, and, and I have a lot of respect for that. Gary Walborn, the ombudsman who tried to hand an allegation to Defence Minister Harjeet Sajjan in 2018, is not surprised Gregory Lick, appointed by the Trudeau government, has run into similar stonewalling and obstructionism. It was only a matter of time until the frustration level reached where mine was and those who came before me. For an ombudsman to accuse the current government of political interference, and protecting their own careers over service members is a very damning accusation. The Prime Minister is still making promises. We will be making significant changes uh, to the way the military functions uh, in the coming, uh, coming months uh, as Madame Arbour uh, begins to make uh, recommendations concrete. This Prime Minister and this Minister of Defence have zero credibility on this issue. While Lick said he has not experienced direct political interference, his report makes clear the fear of reprisal is real. And Lick criticized the Minister of Defence on delays in inaction, which he said showed a lack of ministerial accountability. In a statement, the Defence Minister Harjit Sajjan said he has always had a professional working relationship with the Ombudsman and that there has been no political interference with his office. Sajjan also said Lick had never contacted him to say he felt there was a problem. Mercedes, the Ombudsman said it is clear inaction is rewarded far more than action. So is any action likely now? Well, Donna, that's the million-dollar question. The government continues to say they support victims and promise action, but they won't give us a timeline or any specifics on whether or not we'll see that independence. With an election potentially looming in the fall, the pressure is on to act quickly if anything is going to get done. Donna? All right, Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa. Thanks.